my own behalf and on behalf of Councilmember Nuri Martinez, uh, the representative of this intersection, uh, it's our great honor to be here with you and pay tribute to Chris and his memory uh, once again. It, it, it's hard to believe that it's been one year since Chris's end of watch. Uh, it, many of us still feel that pain of that tragic day uh, as if it's very, very fresh. And uh, it doesn't seem like it's been a year ago since we all collectively suffered that loss. But I was thinking today that um, as hard as that loss was to lose Chris, in many respects, Chris is so alive. Chris is so alive today. He's certainly alive in the lifetime of memories that will always be cherished by his family and by his friends. He'll always be alive in the hearts and souls of his 10,000 brothers and sisters of the Los Angeles Police Department and their civilian counterparts and the four million people that they serve and keep safe every day. He'll be alive in the memory of all of us uh, who recall his loss, but also his service. And I think he'll be alive here at Valley Traffic for a long time to come. I'm betting that there are motor officers of the future, motor officers who haven't saddled up for the first time yet, who will be hearing Chris Cortijo stories for a lot of years to come, and they'll be drawing inspiration and mentorship from him even though he's not here with us physically anymore. But his career and what it meant, his devotion and his professionalism, particularly in the area of driving under the influence, keeps him alive in a whole variety of other ways as well. Think of what a career of 3,000 drunk driving arrests means. Think how many of those drivers that he arrested might have killed themselves or others, either on that trip or some future trip. And those tragic accidents were deterred because of Chris's action, because of his professionalism, because of his dedication, because of his ability to sniff out people who are driving under the influence. There was nobody better at that in the department than Chris Cortijo. 3,000 arrests means countless saved lives. People who are here with us today will never know who they are. They may never have heard of Chris Cortijo, but they're walking around today enjoying this magnificent morning. Make no mistake about it, they're living today because of Chris Cortijo. So someplace in Los Angeles, there's a child sitting in a classroom studying making plans for her future, dreaming the dreams of her life to be. She's alive because of Chris Cortijo, and Chris Cortijo lives on through her. Someplace in Los Angeles, there's a grandfather who's telling the same joke that he's told probably a hundred times and enjoying time with his family, who's here with us because of Chris Cortijo, and Chris Cortijo lives on through that grandfather. Someplace in Los Angeles, there's an expectant mother who's dreaming about the life that her unborn child will live. And that mother and that unborn child are here today because of Chris Cortijo, and Chris Cortijo lives on through them. Someplace there's probably a young woman planning her June wedding, and she's alive and future generations of her family will be able to live because of Chris Cortijo, and Chris Cortijo lives on through them. So all of us have a limited number of days on this earth. None of us know when that last day will be, but it's the exceptional few who influence so many others who achieve a kind of immortality because of how much they've given to others and Chris Cortijo has certainly achieved that. So we'll all remember him. Everyone in the Los Angeles Police Department will always remember him. The people of Los Angeles will always remember him and cherish his memory. And because of the action that we're taking today, uh, that Councilmember Martinez and myself initiated in the council, and we're so proud to be able to work with Valley Traffic to 
uh, to uh, see through to fruition today. We're going to be naming this intersection Officer Chris Cortijo Square. And from this day forward, 60,000 cars every single day will pass through this intersection and will see the name Officer Chris Cortijo. And they too will remember his service. They too will remember his professionalism. They too will remember his sacrifice. And hopefully, some portion of them will be deterred from driving under the influence as well. So for years to come, Chris Cortijo will continue to serve our city by deter deterring drivers who are driving under the influence. So it's a great honor to be able to be with you today and to be able to unveil. So Commander, if you can join me up here today, uh, right now, and I think Captain's ready to unveil Officer Chris Cortino Square. And it reads Bedford LA. 